What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, Ever? What are you doing? I'll just clean up the old badge. Oh, nice. How do you, what do you think about it? Man, it looks good. Yeah, I like it. Changes up the front end a little bit, and I like it. Looks real nice. Aren't you afraid they're going to ask what the E stands for, though? I thought about that. Hey, what's up, Steven? Hey, man. How's it going? Good. I just got uh, done putting the uh, E badge on my stinger here. E badge? That's uh, the Korean badge they put on it. It's an E. It's like a Viking helmet to me, man. What are you talking about? Come look over here from this angle. Dude, you can go home. What's up, man? Checking out the car? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what that is. It's a Kia. Oh, okay. It's a Kia. Oh, Kia is spelled with an E? No. K E? K I A. Yeah. It's, that makes sense. They so use this badge in Korea. Oh, it's Korean for, for E. No, it, it just means engineer with excellence. What's E stand for? What does the E stand for? What's the E for? Kind of like controlled chaos. What's up, I gotta go. Okay. Google it. Google it. Korea? Sure. What's Ryan. the E for? What does the E stand for? What's E stand for? Ryan! Oh. What's up, man? Oh. I do think you just Google it. We can figure it out later. Well, welcome back to another episode of SGTME. We got the Stinger here, of course, and today we're going to be changing out the front Kia badge. So I've got the E badge here, as you can see, and what we're going to be doing is switching it out if you want to come around. And we're going to be changing out the front badge. We already did the back badge, which we've changed it to the uh, Stinger script, so you can see the other video if you want. But we're going to change the Kia badge to the Korean one. It's got the nice E here. It says Stinger. What does the E stand for? As far as I know, engineered with excellence. It's got a couple other meanings. You can look it up, but I like the way it is. I think it looks good. So, hey, if I don't like it, I can always go back. But, uh, so yeah, so we're going to get right into it. And the first thing is we're going to have to modify some stuff on the back. So now we're going to cut to that portion and we're going to uh, show you step number one to do before we install this badge. Okay, so the first thing we do is, of course, we got our badge here. And we need to remove one of the tabs. If you can see here, you got the, you got the two top tabs. Keep it level there. These two are fine. The problem is this bottom one right here. So we have to remove that in order for it to fit on our cars. So once we get that done and out of the way, it should be able to go right in place without a problem. So they say on a couple of the instructions, you can just use like a little hand cutter and then they say to solder it down. Well, I don't have a soldering tool, but I got a Dremel tool. So I'm gonna cut it off and then uh, grind it down with a little uh, grinding tool after and get it done. So. Fire it up and go from there. Oh yeah, safety first. Make sure you wear some glasses. You don't want no plastic in your eyeball or your cameraman's eyeball. Well, I have no safety glasses, so I'm just gonna close my eyes. <laughs> yeah, make sure you do cut the right one. It is the bottom one next to this, so make sure. Don't want to cut one of these. If you do, you this wanna... becomes worthless. So, for your car anyways. Butter. Yeah, real quick, so I'll switch over to this next and we'll finish grinding it down and call it good. So there's not much um, left on there, so I pretty much got it in a pretty on the first try. So I'm just gonna grind it a little, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little lip on the edge. Does it show up at all? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna make that flat. You wanna make it flat so when you put it on, it'll all seal up. So, go with that. Okay, that's it. Now we can go install the badge on the car. Okay, so now we got the badge uh, ready to go. As you saw, we took off that uh, bottom pin there. So now, just like as we did the back badge, we're gonna use the heat gun and the uh, tool here to pry off this and then go from there. It 
Some people like to use uh, fishing line, but I, I prefer, I like using this. Um, but I think the fishing line will actually get you a better uh, removal of the, the goop, the glue behind. That, that seems to be the problem. I'm like prying against the other side without something. There we go. There she goes. Okay, she all right, and we all know how fun, how good this stuff is to remove. Yeah, look, you can see the amount of tape on here. It's just ridiculous. Okay, now the fun begins. But just keep your Kia badge in case you want to put it back on one day. I mean, you can always buy a new one. But uh, oh, reminds me, we got the badge. I will put a link from KiaStinger.com. Um, I buy them there because. Uh, well, it supports the uh, forum, so that's why I buy him there. But uh, he gets the guy gets. I think his name is Sal. He gets that stuff to us really quick. Usually, I'll order on Monday. And I'll have it at my th my house by Thursday. So free shipping. No, he's not paying me to say any of that. It just seems like he's trying to run the site, so I'm gonna try and help support him. So, well, I'll finish removing this goo, and then uh, we'll get to the next step. So what we did, I got all the uh, tape off of here so it's good to go you can see nice and clean there was no discoloration just like the back one though if at the right angle you can see a very 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 faint oval but I think after time of washing it and putting some waxes on it that's gonna go away it's actually better than what the back one looked like so yeah there's no discoloration like that uh, one forum member who had so Hopefully he can get his resolved. Um, I think his dealer said if they'll look into it and they think they may have to get some stuff replaced on his car. So hopefully it's not a big issue. But uh, yeah, now uh, get your badge. I did a pre-test. You know, you can put it on there, flip it back and kind of see how it's going to look. So actually before you even install it, if you actually didn't like it at this point, you can stop get you another Kia one and slap it on without having to fight with the glue so you have an option of checking it out before it's even good to go but uh, I like it actually I was kind of mixed feelings on it but uh, what do you think Efren? I like it I didn't think I was going to like it I know you talked about the Kia original Kia logo is it's wider so the car is kind of wide yeah but after having it on I really like it yeah me too I think it looks pretty good so we take these off and uh, yeah, so if you can see, if you were to flip these, that hole, if this hole was right here, perfect. But of course, cause you know, we're, we're, we're backwards over here. I guess if our steering wheel was on that side, the hole would be on that side, so it would work out. But no, our hole is on the opposite side, so that's why you have to remove this. But uh, all right, line it up and uh, that's it. Get apply pressure, you should be good. Thanks for watching another episode of SGT and Me. 
Uh, if you want to subscribe and a comment down below, we'll have uh, more videos to come for sure. Let me know what you like, dislike. Um, I know we filmed a little bit of the uh, little intro skit in the beginning. Let me know if you like things like that. We'll go ahead and put more of those in. Uh, you know, that's kind of my hobby. I like doing stuff like that. So, but yeah, uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, check them out. We got the script badge install, and then we got the oil change video, which uh, was really fun. So, you know, it gives you guys a lot of information to work with. So, hopefully, this video did too. But uh, until next time, see you later.